G'day folks, John in Thailand again, I've been working, it's a bit cloudy now, it was sunny for a while, it's after lunch, I've had lunch, had morning tea too, um, I know it's a bit hot so I took an hour, no rush, I've got most of these stakes for the mango trees made, um, these ones here are 105 centimetres long, give or take a fraction. Um, I did a count before and I was seven short so I went and got a bit more bamboo and I'll cut a bit more out before I finish the day. But when we went over to the nursery, the tree nursery yesterday to get uh, more more trees, there are bigger trees. Uh, we're quite, quite happy with that but I had to cut some other stakes which are 1.6 meters um, hopefully the the stakes will you know like be good for two and a half three years because the the trunks of the trees need to really bulk up before we uh, before we can uh, not have stakes at all with the other ones here a lot of the trees have got good trunks on them but the wind's been blowing the trees around and the tree's been moving, you know, like the root's still intact because the trees are still alive. But, uh, man, you know, like, I mean, uh, it's a job I don't really want to have to do, but, you know, we had to. The original uh, pissy little uh, stakes were just not strong enough, and a lot of them had rotted off. Uh, the original ones are even smaller than this old lot here. But anyway... You got to do what you got to do when you're a farmer, and I was just looking in boxes, looking for something else, and I come across fireworks. Wah -ha. And this is from when we used to do rice and corn. Uh, the birds would come in and uh, eat some of the seeds, especially on the rice, because. A contractor we would have come in would uh, use like a backpack sprayer type thing. It's not a sprayer. Well, well, I'm not too sure the name of it because I never own one. Um, I suppose you could call it a backpack duster. It's got a big 20 litre tank on it and they fill it up with seed. Then he revs it up and the seed just comes flying out with the wind. Uh, yeah, so anyway, we've got all these fireworks here and nowhere to use them. This is how the Thais do it. Uh, they use an insect, incense stick and they tie the fireworks onto it. And at a certain time, depending on how quickly the insect, incense stick burns, it's, uh, I'm going to guess that might be like a 20 minute or half hour position. I mean, I might be wrong, but, you know, maybe I'm right. <laughs> um, and the next one, I'm guessing, and I might be wrong and I might be right again, all right, that that's a, at least a 45 minute, maybe an hour. Uh, it could be longer, it could be shorter. Without my wife here, I really can't give you 100% on what it is because she's the expert and I'm not. But I was just digging through the shed um, looking for something else connected to you know, our water irrigation system and I come across these and these ones are more conventional fireworks like you would have uh, seen possibly in a country like Australia or America these are only little ones and we have another one here which uh, I don't know it might be Uncle Ho Chi Minh and his five illegitimate sons on there uh, they have they have instructions on the back on how to use it in a little diagram, but I don't read Chinese and I'm not quite sure what the diagram means. <laughs> yeah, well, one of those things, isn't it? So I, uh, I guess, you know, like a lot of Thai farmers have to do this, use the, use the incense sticks and the fireworks um, to keep the birds away from their crop. Now I'm uh, I'm going to be game here and uh, see if one of these will explode. They've been out of the box for quite a while. 
Maybe they'll explode, maybe they won't. Oh, that's a shocker. Where'd it go? Huh, oh, that must be down there. Nah. Yeah, so that's a little update on uh, what's been happening around here. Not that it's a great deal. Uh, so now I've, uh, I've done the video, I can uh, go back to chopping bamboo and enjoying my day. <laughs> okay, hope you enjoy your day. Bye now.